Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo guide on a feelings rest, which is the legend lost sector today. Uh, it's located in the Strand on the Dreaming City, and it's dropping leg armor. So on the Hunter, you can get reading dance machines. You can see what the perk is activating your dodge ability while near targets allows you to dodge additional times for a short period. Good utility, I suppose, uh, for certain situations. It's one of the three new exotics that's dropped with in, in uh, Season of the Lost. I will be doing guides on the other two. So as you can see, I'm running Gunslinger. I'm running Bottom Tree because we're going to Celestial Nighthawk the boss for a one-hit kill. It's a it's a really farmable run. Uh, the Volpecula, my favourite new hand cannon, reminds me a lot of Luna's Hill, Not Forgotten. Very good hand cannon, explosive payload, non-core mine. Lemon Arc. Overload champions do not like this bow, but it really helps control the adds as well. Corsair's Wrath, I'm using this simply because it's got high impact reserves. You can use the Tarantula or any of the linear fusion rifles that you want. And this, this perk is what really makes this linear fusion rifle pretty good, which is you basically stack damage on hits. And with high impact reserves, it leads up to a big hit at the end. So you will see... A couple of times the unstoppable just doesn't look like you'll die from the next shot but he does unstoppable fusion rifle for the arms uh and that, that's really that for the 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 artifact celestial nighthawk usual perks on it uh unstoppable fusion rifle over the bow the resistance i kind of just stuck with solar and concussive you can go stasis because the stasis burns 50 percent higher uh, I tried Linear Fusion Rifle Holster, wasn't really impressed. You probably have to put two on to notice to really get the best out of that perk and obviously particle deconstruction on the cloak. So this is my first video of uh, Season of the Lost. There will be a ton more coming. I'm trying to get my power level up to the point where I can maybe go in and do Master Nightfalls and start farming these new weapons. I'll get everything out to you. I'm going to do a, a video on the artifact showing you the best way you kind of use them, use the mods, what weapons will work best for them, so on and so forth. So as you can see here, as soon as you come in, you're going to be greeted with a bunch of Taken Thrall. Lemonarch's perk deals with these ads very well. As you can see here... If you can spread the shot, so obviously if you get that perfect precision shot, it will be an explosive headshot. And you can see there, it will chain damage. It will explode and chain damage to the ads around it. When you're dealing with big sets of ads like this, if you can maybe hit one at the front, one at the back, you can clear the whole wave of ads. Now, because these throw kind of teleport, a hand cannon is a good backup weapon. So you can see there, that's going to be a lot of throw dying. Because they've all been, they've all had that shot chained. Now the unstoppable is going to come when you're using a linear to stop the unstoppable. You have to ready it for a, a couple of seconds, a second or two to get the unstoppable shot. It will appear on your screen on the left hand side, where it says knock them down. Uh, the knock them down perk for anybody that doesn't know, chaining critical hits them, uh, gives you super energy. I've got 20, what, 20 seconds to get another one, and you, with this clash, you really can get your super back quite quickly. So that was the first unstoppable. I'm just going to put that grenade there because I know there's a thrall there. There's my first overload. Now the overloads are a little bit more difficult to, to take down with the fusion rifle, as you can see. So I've done good damage, but Lemonox kind of void damage, the, the burn. It also will stop an unstoppable. And, and these Scions, they will just constantly keep... Regenerating, so Lemonark deals with those as well. So we'll take take down that thrall, and now there's an unstoppable round there. Now I just have to try and get there. We go. We've got a critical hit, and then I'm going to back away. I have to reload my linear fusion rifle because we never got the the host that didn't really work the way I wanted it to, which wasn't great. And there we go. That is that, and you see the unstoppable really, really gets smashed really get smashed from uh, the linear fusion rifle so just tidy up these last kind of ads here get that explosive headshot it's not really explosive headshot but you know what I mean that uh, the, the Limonox perk which will deal with it will also most of the time it will deal with uh, the the scions regenerating so we're just going to kind of pick off. There's an overload up here. This overload's a bit of a pain in the backside, but 
he, he'll hide behind one of the pillars the minute you hit him. So we'll just stay here and I'm just going to pick off these ads and there's some void shielded guys at the back. Watch out, maybe one or two scions will, will come after you. And as you can see, that overload, you have to be careful. If you're not going to engage him, be careful for him because he will just constantly shoot at you. The minute you engage him, you can suppress that. So we'll take out these ads at the back. These void shields, you see, they go down really easy with them on arc. There's no more little ads up, and there's the overload. So he's going to come out here. I'm going to stop him, and then I'm going to put a burn on him. And then we're just going to try and chain some crits to him. And there he goes. That's him down. The minute you kill him, the boss is going to appear with a whole wave of ads. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and use the boss as my center point to hit. You can see I'm chaining that damage to all the other ads. And it cleared out a whole wave of ads. Once I've done that, pop, hit him once, and then you get another wave of ads. Now you're going to use the Lemon Ox kind of utility to try and try and get that those crits going. You see there the numbers, and that is that is just about it. You chain those shots, and you can clear waves of ads, waves. And as you'll see here, I did get the Radiant Dance Machine. So this was my third run. I got it on my first run. I got Lucky Pants on my second, and I got this on my third. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. There will be a ton more videos coming in the next week or two. I mean, I'm going to try and get more regular with the uploads. More Lost Sectors to get the three new exotics, Radiant Dance Machines. Uh, I can't remember what the other two are. No backup plans, and the Nothing Manacles. That's what they are. And obviously, we'll get the Nightfall videos and, you know, any kind of runs that I've done, I'll get them up. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next video.